reasonable price and not far from my not far from my uh, not far from my office to work mm -hmm. it, it's allowed uh, convenience everything is comfortable can you say like this my new house is practical that would be that would be a correct use of the word so if the house that you wanted to buy was the right size, it had enough room for your family, um, if you could afford it, if it wasn't too expensive, and it was close to shopping, and it was close to your work, we would say that that house, that the location of that house uh, everything about that house is practical, yes. which, which is the same thing as saying that that house will be very useful to us uh -huh. in all of the ways that we need it to be useful. Uh -huh. It's the right size, will be comfortable. It's not so large that we can't afford it. Uh -huh. So you don't want a house that's so big that you, um, it's expensive to, to, to maintain. Uh -huh. So just the right size, right location, right price, it's practical. Now, this is me suitable. Pardon me? Suitable. No. This word is mean suitable. Suitable? Yes. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yes. Well, it can mean, in, in the way that we used it there, we would say the house is suitable for her needs. Yes. So practical, suitable would, would be the same thing. Practical, you see, we talked yesterday about context, how the same word can take a little bit different meaning depending upon how it is used in a sentence. So um, we can say that's a practical phone. It has many uses to it, okay? Uh, but it wouldn't be correct to say that that phone is suitable. That, that, that would not be the correct use of the word suitable but practical would be. Now when we talk about the house, we could say suitable. So it depends upon how we use the word in the sentence as to whether it's going to be the correct word or not. And uh, after we take our break, we're going to take a short break. After we take our break, uh, we're going to uh, read a couple of passages together and get a little bit more experience with uh, comprehension and, and how words can take on different meanings. So, what other words would you like to talk about a little bit uh, besides uh, just that one? Any, any other words that uh, no. we need any help with? Okay, well, you want to take a quick break? Yeah, want to do that? Huh? Yeah, let's, let's, do, let's do, you know, what do you usually take, about five or ten minutes? Okay, five minutes. Maybe five minutes? Okay, uh-huh. All right, we'll do that. Sure, five minutes. Five minutes, okay. <laughs> Yeah, uh huh. Yeah. I would like to give you a question about May I see? If you try the past, I heard and I lie, but I think it's wrong. Oh. How did you say about um, take the bus? How long does it take a bus? Oh, uh, you mean like how long would it take? No. Yeah. Uh, so, so, so I would say. Um, This one or this one? This one here? Okay. So how long can I, can I erase? Uh, here, this, yeah, here it is. This will work. No, it doesn't, doesn't erase. We would say how long did it take to ride the bus. Uh huh. Now, this would be, see, this is past tense. How long did it take? We're talking about yesterday, how long did it take? If we want to know um, in the future, 
we would say how long will it take? Uh, or if we wanted to know present, we would say how long does it take to ride the bus? Now. So we've got past, we have present, we have future tense. Okay. This would mean past, past. tense. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How did you say? I walk around neighborhood and explore what? Oh, I see. Um, let me see your eraser. I, said, I was talking about yesterday, so it would be past tense. Um, so it was past tense. I would say walked around the I walked around and explored the neighborhood. Oh, neighborhood. neighborhood is like right around your house, mm -hmm. you know. I know. Uh, so I walked around. Now, that was yesterday. Uh, if I'm if I'm talking about what I'm going I'm going to do that um, this afternoon, I would say I will walk around the neighborhood. That would be future tense. You see? Yeah. Walk. Yeah. Walk. Walk. No. No focus about something. Explore is mean no focus something. Yes. Uh. Explore. Yeah, explore. Explore means you kind of, you know, just one. Just look around. Yeah, look around. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah, just to look around. But with what? With the with the the verb walk. That's present. That's future. And that's past. Present, future, past.